Howdy viewers, and thank you for returning. Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another kind of locations type video. When Arthur Morgan and his group gets to Shady Bell, there's actually some treasure boxes located on the grounds of Shady Bell, which I will show you, and also some interesting information. Then I will show you some other interesting locations around or near Shady Bell, as well as, I think I've showed it before, but there's a lock box at the Braithwaite Manor after it's burned down that you can get a gold bar for. But let's get on with the area around Shady Bell. Shady Bell encompasses a lot of land. And there are several lock boxes on the location which can yield some decent money. And if you look around, you're going to find some interesting information. Like this cabin right here by the river area. Yeah, there's something there. If you head out to this cabin and look around, you're going to find some letters. You're not going to find anything really important like treasure, but you're going to find a letter. And if you inspect the letter and read it, it's a letter from someone that is Amos, and it's Micah's brother, essentially. And he's saying that, um, well, if Micah came around, he would kill Micah which means Micah is not such a good guy. And if you haven't figured that out yet, well, guess what? Micah is not a good guy. After the letter, you can look around the cabin, but like I said, there's not a lot here. There's another location where you can actually find a lockbox. There's nothing in this cabin just a nice looking area, a boat launch, etc. But nothing. The next area you want to inspect is this cabin area. Well, not there, but this cabin area. And I missed it. There is a lock box. And I can kind of see it. And I saw why I missed it. But you can walk around here the cabin and eventually you'll find a lockbox which I missed so I'm going to fast forward to the next location now there's a private graveyard on Shady Bell and if you go to this mausoleum here there's a lockbox that contains some loot and the loot is a large jewel bag a billfold, and that's it. You know, $20 in the billfold, but the large jewel bag is 100 bucks. So I'm going to close out the lockbox, and then I'm going to get back to the other location and look for the other lockbox. Now I'm returning to the other cabin, and right there you can see the lockbox. It's fairly obvious. Like I said, I missed it before. But in this lockbox is some uh, is a billfold, which is worth about twenty bucks, and aged pirate rum, which you can sell later. On the map, you can see the location of the player and the cabin. I was a little off. Mr. Bell. Hi, cowpoke. Working hard as ever? I make the money, not wash the clothes. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. All right then, cowpoke. Kind of creepy how Micah just showed up there. And you know about his letter, and you know about these locations. But I digress. 
My next location I'm going to show you is the lockbox at Braithwaite Manor. I believe I showed it in a previous video, but I'm going to show it again. Now, the lockbox is located near Catherine Braithwaite's uh, body, and it's on the opposite side of a wall. And I'll show you the location once I open the lockbox. There's a gold bar here which is about worth $500. And you can see Catherine's body through the crack, but right there is the wall. You can either enter one way or you can come in the main way and walk around. But whatever way you use, you can get to the lockbox. I'll show you here. Again, there's the wall, the column. There's one way of getting in, and then there's this way. The next location I'm going to show you is actually a small church in the swamp. It's kind of, well, just a little location not too far from Shady Bell. Not too far from Shady Bell is this little church, and you can inspect the site, but... Yeah, it's just tiny church for really small parishioners. And let's see, we'll have Arthur Morgan inspect the site here. And yeah, he'll write in his journal. Uh, my small church for a small church for a very small congregation. And it's right here in the swamp area, not too far from Shady Bell more near St. Denis, and now I'm looking around. Um, this is actually an area where you could potentially run into night folk, and yeah, they're like a one-hit kill for Arthur. Those were the people I showed you that were suddenly sneaking up on Arthur at the start of this video. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, as well as shorts, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.